Oh, uh, we didn't talk. Somebody asked us about um, Nas's not Nas's new album, Magic. Fire! I listened to it. A I called times. it ill magic. Yeah, it was crazy. So, uh, you want to go first? Cause oh yeah, well I just uh, he's put out three albums in the past like year and a half. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first King Disease, second one, and Magic. And I thought Magic was probably his best one. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was um, it came. I, I didn't really know it was coming. I think that's another reason. I appreciated it. Yeah, so I didn't much. know. I, I didn't have any expectations for it. Uh, I was good. I was good with Nas. I'm not gonna lie to you. After the first King Disease, because I wanted him to just kind of redeem himself for some of like the other throwaway projects he's put out, and right, I feel like right. that was the one. Like, oh snap! Like Nas, he can do that when he's linked up with a producer who cares about Nas. Yes. Yes. Right. And it's not a real shot at Kanye, but I just felt Kanye was just trying to make a point. His own personal point, I think yes. he kind of missed yeah. who Nas was in that album, right? No, of course, of course. But uh, and King Disease Two, I thought was a great album. I just I liked the first one better for some reason. That's just me. But this one I thought was crazy. Like he was rapping his ass off. Yes. And I had to listen to it a couple of times. Like yes. yo, yes. And for me, he gave me what I wanted. Don't shortchange me. Right. Just because your name is Nas. Yeah. And that's the problem with a lot of these artists who got 20, 25 years in the game. They more going on their name. He was rhyming like he was hungry. Mm -hmm. As soon as that joint come on, he rhyming like, and uh, uh, the great producer and the synergy of working together, he rekindled a certain energy and spirit about Love for music, mm-hmm. cause he don't have to do this no more. Yeah, he's a multi-millionaire, got money in crypto, this that investments, and he can put out an album just to say I put out an album. And this is what I mean by give me your best mm-hmm. at who you are. And this album also it had me appreciate being fifty-three years old. It didn't sound like he was trying to be a little little this and little that. He was rhyming like a grown man. But with a skill set that show he took time to put these rhymes together. Shit, I wanted to go back in the booth. Yeah, I got go. super. <laughs> okay. Yo, I don't rhyme like the 80s, Malcolm. <laughs> Before we got on A, he's going to be like, yo, you know, you still rhyming like the 80s. I, I ain't say that. You right. did. You did. Well, it's a lot of context missing out of why I said that. But go ahead. Go ahead you know what I mean? So um, I just thought it was a great mm-hmm. only nine cuts. I didn't expect it, and it really, really hit hard. This is my definition of grown hop. Mm. I'm really not, not, not saying I'm not supposed to be listening to the music my 20-year-old son is, but those lines got kind of blurred. Mm. Hip-hop has grown up now, so there should be avenues and lanes for artists like Nas. Because 444 was an that amazing, I love that album. amazing album from Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. It just spoke. It was transparent. It was a grown man album dealing with grown man things. And that's what I liked about it. So Nas has redeemed himself. He's winning the war now. Because... The last year and a half, he dropped three albums, all quality albums. So it's like if you take his first three and his last three, Lord, it's almost like winning the championship. It's like LeBron going back to back right now. Mm -hmm. And not just on the team, 25, 10, and 10. Ending your career on such a note of great quality music. And sometimes it takes a lifetime to find a producer of that magnitude. Yeah, Hit Boy is killing. And, and the Hit Boy is killing. And so, big up Nas on this. King's Disease 3 should close the chapter on that. He don't have no more rapping to do after that. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be but yeah, an don't, amazing Don't project. take the first three and the last three because then, you know, Jay-Z line, uh, you know, that's one never say two. Two of them. Hey. Yeah, you don't even, you know. But now, but now. Start doing do it, the math. And but now like, if you do it. The first three was, and the last three, and if you take the first three and the last three now, yeah, but then now your statement look crazy. One hot album every five year average. No, <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's what have you done yeah. for me you're lately? Right. You're right, you're right. In the last year and a half, he finally won a Grammy. True. I thought King's Disease 2 was better than one. Just my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I respect everybody's opinion. And this one really just put me in a zone mm-hmm. that said, Nas, if he really just focused in on it, he has to be one of, if not the greatest. Yeah. 
Somebody said it wasn't true. Yeah, I was just joking. I was just joking, guys. Um, what, did you hear uh, Uncle Murder's wrap up? I did. He's terrible. <laughs> yo, he's a. Yo, it's somebody like you know somebody. He's terrible, but he's funny. Yeah, he's just like so bad at rapping. Right. Like, he just be talking. Yeah. And it was this and that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I hope this dude get A's like easy. And <laughs> yeah, he he blacked out in the first line. I was like, yeah, the Whoa. first line he blacked out. I was like, oh, why? Like you know what I'm saying? And he going for the shock and yeah, it's shock value. And he's Uncle Murder, and he mean that shit. So it's like, what are you gonna do? Yeah, yeah. Fuck, you gonna do about it? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, I got beef in the streets, man. Uh, and so, so skills, I thought skills is corny, but he's nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he he puts in a little effort. It's into hard. His... Skills is more skillfully, more thought out. Yes. His, his rhymes yes. and what he's trying to say. But this is the era of social media. Yeah. I don't want to hear your little skilled rhyme <laughs> about yeah. what took place yeah. in the fucking CNN report. Yeah. I want to hear some shit that made me go, ooh. And then shit he threw at uh, 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 Tyler, the creator. Oh, yeah. It's like, yo, Khaled, you don't know how Khaled is. Khaled want to be number one. He pissed off Khaled. He out here number one eating niggas salads. Yeah, I was yo, like. he just wallowed. Like, he went at. Uh, Freddie Gibbs. Freddie Gibbs. Yeah. He just he just went all the way in, and uh, I look forward to it. Even though it's bad rapping, yeah, I did. I look forward. I was to looking it. forward to. I'm not gonna who lie. he's gonna piss off. All right.